They move the buttons around. Okay. Well, that's silly. Okay. Hi. You probably won't be looking at this monkey for a while because I'm going to be taking a break from Girl Tag. Why? Pretty obvious why. Recently, Tropic GT just faked death, which is just not even... It's just sad. And then, not even a few weeks ago, Monkey, um, he faked cancer. That... That... I don't, I don't even know. And for the past, like, really year, the community has just, has just been so toxic, like... I literally can't go one lobby without a four-year-old screaming the n-word because his parents are home. Or modding and, you know, ruining the whole lobby. And it's just sad to see this community falling apart. I love this game. This game is really fun. I love playing tag. It's just... The community is making it so terrible. Last time I saw a decent kid, or a decent person, really, it was like, I can't even remember. I'm just, I don't feel like it's, like, good for me to stay in. Because there's just been too much going around, too much that stuff. This community has just become so toxic. And a lot of YouTubers have been getting doxxed and swatted lately. I, I just can't. And the updates, the updates have just been flashbacks. Like, they're not really original at all. It's just flashback sale, flashback sale, flashback sale, flashback sale, flashback sale. Oh, new decorations. That's literally it. And then flashback sale, flashback sale, flashback sale, flashback sale. Like, and another thing, it, you know, old girl, it's like kind of had its own ring to it. It doesn't really anymore. It's like... Have you ever played a game, and then you quit for like a few months, and then you come back, and it's like, it doesn't feel the same anymore? That's how I feel about Gorilla's Bag. Whenever I first started playing it, I loved it. Uh, there were almost like, no toxic people, somehow. And now I just, it just seems like, once every time I get off the headset, I feel like I, I don't want to play anymore. So I'm going to be taking a break for probably a while. You won't see me posting Gorilla Tag for a while. I'll probably be post posting something like Slap Battles. Don't even get me started on its flag. Not just its flag, but like scammers, really. Like neuter. Um, freaking what's his name? Scooby Doo VR or something. I get it. There's gonna be scammers everywhere, but like, it's getting to the point where you gotta like. Put in your mother's credit card information and you will get 10,000 shiny rocks. And people are falling for it. And people are getting doxxed. And it's just not okay. It's just been so toxic. And the game isn't fun to play anymore. It's just nothing really new, you know? Just, oh, here, a sh shark in the, in the cave map, why not? You know? And I can't- I can't even go in a singular lobby without some kid screaming at me, like, saying every cuss word that I, I didn't even know existed, that I learned. I probably learned, like, 50 new slurs from Gorilla Tag, so thanks, Slumming, I guess. It just been faking cancer, faking death, faking cancer again, faking heart disease. Faking losing one of your. Never mind. It's just. This community is just. It's falling apart, man. Jake Man Curly, one of Gorilla Tag's biggest YouTubers, if not the biggest Gorilla Tag YouTuber, isn't even posting Gorilla Tag content any anymore. He's just posting either modding videos or fan games. And. It's just. Not really fun anymore. I like to play tag. I love to play Gorilla Tag. Well, I loved. Uh, don't forget that D. I loved to play Gorilla Tag. Now I just don't. It's just. I don't really like it anymore. It's a bit. It's gone too toxic. The 
community. It's full of uh, four-year-olds who bother, who borrowed their um, their big brother's headset. And I haven't seen like a a nice guy in forever. You know, and people are getting doxxed all the time. It's like every single day. A uh, new, a uh, big world tech YouTuber, like just like uh, yesterday or something, or a few days ago, Tebow got doxxed and swatted. Police raided his house, and he's just a kid. I'm just a kid. Most of every world tech a player's just a kid. Now we have Tropic faking dying, which just isn't okay. Monkey faking cancer. I, do, I just can't anymore, man. I just don't even like to play this game no more. It's getting... It's falling apart. It's falling off. And the newest Gorilla Tag update, guess what it is? Oh, that's right, it's Cave's flashback. Oh, new cosmetic. You have to complete 10 quests in an entirely different game. Like... Look at this. Look, we had the exact same stuff last year. And... OG players... Nobody believes I'm OG anymore. Oh, yeah. And they burned the old wardrobe. I can't. I can't anymore. OG players, um... They don't believe I'm OG anymore. I got the umbrella when it first released. And these little OG cheeks. Those old rosy cheeks whenever they first released. But nobody believes me anymore. They're like, oh no, you just got it from the, the 2024 flashback. When, literally, the, uh, I think the rosy cheeks was the first cosmetic I got. The only thing that I can prove that I'm OG is a uh, early access badge and GT1 badge. Some people don't have it, and I accidentally. Um. I'm gonna put this on. I just don't even want that, but. Sure, we got in Metropolis map, but uh, when was the last time we got a new map for that? Really? Really think about it. And cool, we got a new ambush game mode, but it isn't even that good. It's just literally infection, except tag monkeys are invisible. Literally, it. You could just get tag and replace the tag texture with being invisible. It takes two seconds to make. And before we got ambush, freaking um, we haven't had a new game mode in two years. Two years, probably a little bit more than that. Like paint brawl. And another thing, Gorilla Tech is just becoming pay to win now. Look at this splash and dash. That's right, thirty dollars. Why not? Oh, shiny rocks, three dollars, not as bad. Oh, this little guy, hey, he's pretty cool. Uh, he costs forty dollars. And, uh, if you don't have any of these cosmetics, you'll probably get bullied out of the lobby. If you believe in Jesus or something, you'll get bullied out of the lobby. I- I don't even know if I can continue playing this game, man. It's just been getting too toxic for me. And my sister, she plays too. She agrees with me. I- I don't know, man. This game has just been getting too, like, too toxic, really. I, I don't know what to do. The only thing I can really do is just, you know, quit, take a break, take a really long run. The game's not fun anymore. In fact, it's bringing more negative than positive. In fact, it's only bringing negative. It's never bringing any positive stuff. I don't like this game anymore. It's became too toxic. The developers became too lazy. And too many people have been, like, in very dangerous situations, such as getting swatted. Which, if you didn't know, swatted means somebody, like, uh, calls your local police and tells them that you have, like, a legal drugs in your house or something. And the police bust down your door 
and they s interrogate you and stuff, and it's not fun. I've seen videos of people getting swatted. It's not fun. Uh, people have been getting anxiety attacks. A lot of people have been quitting Gorilla Tag because of just people swatting. And modders, they're just, they're not making it any better. They're like, Hey guys, it's me, Hollow GT, and today I'm going to be crashing Shaver's lobbies because I think it's funny. It's not funny to us fellow Gorilla Tag streamers. Or really, YouTubers. Player trackers too, we're just trying to record a nice video. And uh, oh hey uh, here's your real name, your IP address, your address, uh, your mom's name, your dog's name. Um, how many bananas you have in your basement? It's just not funny anymore. I can't even say a single word without uh every person like just like you know screaming the N word as usual. It's not even fun anymore. I don't even like it anymore. I don't want to play this game. It's a big game. It's too toxic. So I'm gonna be taking a break. I hope whenever I return from a break, this game is hopefully a little less toxic, you know? People aren't faking their deaths and faking cancer every week. People have been saying girls they can't go a week without drama. It probably can't go an hour without drama, I'm being completely honest. Another chapter of a uh, soul rant I have going on here: the Gorilla VRGT clones. Gorilla VRGT. Listen, he made a pretty cool concept. In fact, I, I it was pretty cool whenever I first heard of him. And now there's like, if you just search up VRGT, and there's like a billion YouTube channels that come up: Jamin Curly VRGT, K9 VRGT, Jaw Clans VRGT, Jack No Man VRGT. Wait, freaking Dingle Smith VR GT. Who even is Dingle Smith VR, bro? Freaking, we have Gorilla VR GT VR GT. Like, it. <laughs> I can't. It's not even funny, man. It's just too repetitive and annoying. So are the updates. Too repetitive. Too lazy. It's not fun anymore. Community doesn't make it any better. People getting spotted left and right. People getting docks right and left, up and down, north, west. So with that being said, I won't be playing Gorilla Tag for a while. I won't be posting Gorilla Tag for a while. Probably won't even be touching my VR headset for a while. So, if you, uh, if you want to keep seeing me play Gorilla Tag, but, yeah, if you, like, only watch me, because my Gorilla Tag videos, you probably want to unsubscribe right now, because I'm not going to be posting Gorilla Tag for a while. If you like me because, well, you think I'm unique and my content's good, you can stay subscribed if you want. Or you can subscribe now. Like the video if you like the video. I'm not gonna ask you to. I don't wanna be Chris Nato or Bubbles VR. Listen, people are saying that Bubbles VR changed. He didn't. And girls like YouTube shorts haven't get haven't been getting any better. Once again, Chris Nato and Bubbles. It's just would you take this up or uh, you would get one billion Johnny Rocks? You would get the finger brainer, you would get the stick, you would literally uh, uh, be friends with Damon Curly, but you have to uh, like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment, uh, uh, dingleberries are my favorite food, and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I, I don't even know, man. Just kidding. Not fun anymore. I don't like this game. I don't like this community. I don't like playing this game. So I'm gonna stop playing this game. Expect a lot more, probably, Slap Battles videos from now on. I'll Slap Battles has a decent community. People are actually pretty nice in that Roblox game. So that's when I'm gonna start playing. Maybe some more Geometry Dash streams. Let me know what I should do in the comments.
Except for gorilla tag. I can be doing gorilla tag. It's too much. Too much toxicity. Too much laziness. So, yeah. Goodbye. And see you in probably the uh, next video. But it's not going to be gorilla tag because I'm taking a break from it. So, uh, yeah, once this community gets better, or once the updates aren't just literally just flashback sale after flashback sale, maybe I'll start playing again. But for now, peace, man. I shouldn't say that. I, I'm... I'm not... <laughs> Whatever. This video is going to be unedited. Anyway. Just... I don't... I don't like to play this game anymore. It's too toxic. Too much for my liking. It's falling off. Hurt. So, bye for a while, I guess. See you in probably trying to get Bob in slot battles. Bye bye. Why did I keep that in the video, man? Okay, well, bye. I don't like this game.